Good morning, YouTube. I'm in downtown Dayton. I'm not going to really focus so much on a downtown Dayton video subject, but I'm going to continue the theme of political discontentment in a presidential election year. I'm going to pick topics that I want to address in in various videos, you know, that are politically related. And the subject that I'm going to focus on for this video is the motives of politicians. I've talked about this in like other videos, you know, before. And uh, for those of you that are, you know, critics of my channel, a lot of the stuff that I'm trying to focus on, especially in my downtown Dayton videos, is to get people to question and realize why do our politicians want certain things and you stop believing the BS and the fluff that comes out of the mouths of politicians. So anyway, you know, both parties, you know, are are crooked, you know. I tend to, I think, despise the Democrats worse. And I think, you know, being in a democratic city like Dayton, you know, of course, my opinion on many things are not going to be popular, you know, but we have to really questioned, you know, the motives of our politicians, you know, when it comes to our tax money and certain things, you know, we've had so many bad things that have happened, you know, and, and certain things once they get in are, are hard, you know, to get out of like, you know, over the last few years, we've had many boondoggle projects, you know, you know, when you hear politicians, you know, talk about Things like, you know, they'll always try and sell us on stuff. Oh, this will improve public safety and so on. Do, you know, get extra taxpayer money out of us. Like the red light cameras, you know, which I've covered that in a few different videos. You know, we had to go to court, you know, as people across the state just to get those damn things shut down. But yet city leaders and the police chief want them to come back hmm you have to really question you know why do they want them back you know so badly for but anyway you know politicians you know are loyal you know to a certain group of people or party and they don't you know want to focus on real issues you know like they want to sweep the real issues that have caused, you know, decay under the rug. They would just rather try and mask over, you know, the bigger issues at hand. Politicians on, you know, both sides of the aisle, you know, pretend to have a kind-hearted demeanor. Like, they'll act concerned and that, you know, when you bring up a certain issue. I know our mayor, Nan Whaley, which I've talked about that piece of shit over and over again, her being a Democrat, she's she's really good at that. She's really good at that. You know, pretends to have a kind-hearted demeanor, but we got to realize, you know, they, they can put on this farce and the facade of a kind-hearted demeanor, but in all honesty, they're really trying to undermine you know, the will of the people in general. So, you know, we have to really, you know, question, you know, like certain things. Like when you look at certain things like our schools, for example, and the blocks of people that vote, you know, Democratic in the city, there, there isn't much money that goes their way and you know also in their neighborhoods towards improving things are the schools they only want to focus on a few select things like downtown and other things they don't really want to fo focus on any real issues at hand so I'm trying to get people to see through the BS and to stop believing the bullshit that comes out of the mouths of our politicians and you start questioning the motives and do and do oppose stuff 
And both sides are guilty of this too because, you know, when we had President Bush, President Bush fucked up this country too when he got us into, you know, Iraq. And, you know, why did he want us in, in fucking Iraq so badly? I think it's because he really wanted to avenge his father's, you know, war, you know, Bush Sr. And, uh, of course, you know, he fucked up this country majorly. And, uh, you know, with the war and some of the economic issues. But his biggest fuck up was getting us into, into Iraq. A war that, you know, we had, you know, no business, you know, being involved in. Then, of course, moving forward in this election, you know, like you have, you know, Hillary will say certain things, Trump will say certain things too. And we have to really question, you know, why are they saying this stuff? Why do they want some of this stuff so badly? You know, like... You hear Hillary touting this bullshit slogan, Stronger Together. She wants us more divisive than ever, you know. But, you know, but I just want to say, you know, with when you hear politicians, you know, talk about things like money or public safety, you know, or various projects, we really have to start questioning the motives of why they want this stuff of why they want this stuff and to you know stop believing that they have our best interest at at heart and at mind because they don't they're only focused on a few people and a few lobbies they just want to undermine the city and the people and this is this is not just a Dayton issue this is all across the country as we move forward in this presidential election, I mean, we're in big trouble as a country right now, people. And as long as we allow politicians to recklessly spend our money and all this corporate welfare, which it exists on both sides of the aisle, you know, we have to put a stop to it. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one, so please, you know, Start realizing and seeing through the bullshit and the fluff and the motives of the politicians because their motives are not pure. They do not have our best interests at heart, you know. And like I said, I've talked about this in other videos at length, too. So, you know, that's going to be it for this one.